Since the first patient succumbed to the novel coronavirus in the country, the government has been taking measures to intensify the fight against COVID-19 as cases in the country continue to soar. The first patient succumbed at the Aga Khan Hospital, where the deceased came into contact with the staff at the hospital that led to their isolation at the facility. They are all doing fine. Basically, we have a very, very rigorous process. If somebody comes in contact with a patient that is suspect and we believe they might have been, for example, exposed, what we will do, we trace them, we put them in a 14 days isolation, we test them. When we believe that they are healthy, they can come back to us. The hospital showcased how they will handle patients infected with the virus. Once the patients are brought to the hospital, they'll be taken to the accident and emergency observation room where the doctors will be administering a COVID-19 test. Those patients in critical condition will be taken to the intensive care unit ICU and others will be taken to the isolation ward. The hospital has set up 100 beds to cater for COVID-19 patients. In ICU, we have already made a provisions to expand our ICUs. We will be basically able to look at to look at after basically 20 patients in our ICU, but we have also an HDU, which we have reserved for other patients because we haven't shut down our uh, our hospital. This comes even as the government, through the Ministry of Health, warned private hospitals to not overcharge patients seeking treatment of COVID-19. Fellow Kenyans, it has also come to our attention that there are private hospitals who are overcharging Kenyans and taking opportunity of this pandemic. We have reports of gloves and other PPE equipment that are costing about 8,000 Kenya shillings for Kenyans who are admitted in facilities. This is unacceptable and immoral and the Medical Council has been directed to take up this issue. Doctors at the hospital have urged Kenyans to adhere to the Ministry of Health protocols to combat the spread of COVID-19. More than one million people around the globe have been infected with the novel coronavirus and 60 of them have succumbed to the said virus. Private hospitals here in the country are taking measures to ensure they combat this deadly virus. Abdezizar Shim Ibru TV, Nairobi County.